So Joseph Stain recently said this. Why don't you just bring back the, the maps from the old games and put them into Halo Infinite? And that could kind of be a buffer while we have this extended season. Can you kind of explain why you can or cannot do that? That's a good idea, Paris. <laughs> I can talk about some things, but I can't talk about other things. Right. Like, there are some great Halo maps. Um, I think we all have our personal favorite. Guardian, Gold, Pit. Like, there are a lot of maps that are awesome, right? I think it'd be awesome to play on those maps again. Don't don't you guys? Like, that sounds like uh, a fun thing. I, I, I think it would be a fantastic yeah. thing. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll mark that in my... Yeah. I'll that in my oh, little, uh, I'm taking my full credit notebook. for it if, if it happens. How about that? <laughs> so that got me thinking, what maps should we see return in Halo Infinite? In this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts and also with your thoughts as well, what maps should return in this game. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Ever since I interviewed the Joseph Satan did with that podcast, uh, a lot of people have been thinking, what kind of maps could we see return in this game, myself included? Though I don't believe that these will be developer-made maps, I think this is something that's tied to Forge. Because this was stated in a previous interview with IGN from Andrew Witz, who is no longer with 343, so obviously things could change with different kind of types of leadership. Uh, but they said uh, about specifically about making remakes, developer-made remakes, saying, I think what we've done with the big team battle fragmentation is something we want. We want things to feel new, but we want things to be a bit reminiscent without giving you the exact same layout or the same layout with slight differences because we're a different game and we have different needs which does make sense oftentimes when games try to replicate uh the exact same map like copy paste into a new game things are different you know hit scan projectile uh different sandbox elements might not lead to the map playing out as well as you think it might do i think a perfect example of this is a map like blood gulch right here where uh, in the original CE version, the pistol is not super accurate. At least you have to tap fire for it to be rather accurate over range. And it's also projectile, so you have to lead your shots. So there's a little bit of element of human error when it comes to the accuracy. It's also with the same thing as the sniper rifle, you have to lead your shots on top of that. So that's where things can get a little bit different when it comes to being able to move around the map. We have different things like hit scan, like we have with Halo 2 Anniversaries version of Blood Gulch with Bloodline where the battle rifle and sniper rifle are hit scan where you don't need to lead your shots, you just need to click the head and it bolts will instantly travel there. Having these more wide open maps really makes it very difficult to move around. So it depends on the sandbox what maps would work well with Halo Infinite. So now that we got that information kind of out of the way, let's dive into what maps would be awesome in Halo Infinite. Even though I did talk about this as an example of it didn't really work out super well, I think it actually could work out in Halo Infinite sandbox and it's the map Blood Gulch or Coagulation, Bloodline, or maybe in Valhalla if you want to count that one, just whatever kind of variation you want to talk about about this kind of map because one, it's a large map with open space and the difficulties with that is if you have hit scan, everything's a laser beam, really tough to move around. Well, we have the Sidekick Assault Rifle Start, which doesn't really give you too much range, so I think that actually could work out rather well. I, I would like to see a little bit more cover like we have with Coagulation. You can see with these rocks here on this section, probably need something more like that or kind of like what we have with Bloodline. But the big thing is that it's an open map. There's just hills and rolling hills with different elevations. And I think this would lend us up to much better vehicle play than what we have right now in Halo Infinite. Because right now in Halo Infinite, there's very designated lanes that your vehicles can go through. So you're not really kind of like able to have that much freedom of choice of how you navigate through the map. So that's one thing I would like to see really improve with the current list of BTB maps. And so Blood Gulch would absolutely do that. And plus Blood Gulch is one of the most iconic maps ever made in Halo. So I could totally see this one coming back. Obviously, uh, when it comes to like a battle rifle spawn, maybe like one or two on each base kind of thing, but you definitely want to focus on having that sidekick start with the assault rifle. I think this would actually lend itself to some really awesome gameplay. Another really important thing with Halo maps is having a really cool style to them, some unique art style to it, to where it really kind of stands out and makes it its own kind of experience. But you also want to have cool style on yourself. Well, like this shirt right here from Into the AM. Right now they're doing the Memorial Day weekend set with 25% off site wide guys. And they have some really great stuff in here. You can see they have some really cool graphic tees and also some basic tees if you don't want to get too flashy and stuff like that. A lot of different types of styles, different types of clothing items that you have available for you and just really cool art style. Like I actually genuinely like this kind of stuff. So if you're looking to upgrade your wardrobe to something more 
out of this world. I highly suggest checking out the pinned comment down below. Make sure when you guys do a checkout, you also use my code Kevin Kulex to get some extra discounts on your purchase. Plus we get a little kickback on the channel here. So that really helps out support the channel. But let's get into map number two on this list. Now on the arena side of things, I think Construct from Halo 3 would be a really cool addition to Halo Infinite, mainly because you think about the traversal on this map. One thing I liked about this map is the different elevation changes and how the, the battles are compartmentalized to be a different kind of experience no matter where you are on the map. Now, the only difficulty is that I didn't really like this map for Slayer because it was so hard to get up to the upper level where most of the advantages were on this map. But we have a little bit of the ace up the sleeve and that is the grapple shot. I think could play this map out completely different, really opening up this map to allow more different types of play styles, more mobility as well, especially with all the other different types of equipment like the threat sensor could really help locate players on this map because the spawn locations are pretty far apart from each other. The drop wall would be really great to kind of help put up against like a wall of protection against these lines of sight and things like that. And of course, like I said, the grapple shot would just be absolutely incredible. If you could do some maybe parts, pull some really cool moves, moves with a repulsor as well on top of it. So I think this map would really lend itself to that freedom of movement when it comes to verticality like we have in Halo Infinite. And I think this map actually particular would really help show that sandbox in a really good light. Another map I think would be a really great addition is the map Containment. I don't think this map gets enough love as it really should because this map was absolutely amazing. I do love how it's formatted. We have the two bases on each side. You have these hallways down the center and also like a covered hallway down the middle. Also, I think it would do a great job of showcasing the sandbox once again, because especially if you're playing like Assault or if you're playing CTF or some kind of objective based mode, right? We have to get into the base. That was always the hardest part about this map. But now you got the grapple shot, you have a repulsor, and also you have different types of other bits of equipment in this game that could really help open up the gameplay a little bit more and have it feel less restrictive and more open especially since like they got that hill right here in the middle that we see the player driving over right now that you won't be like sniped across the map kind of stuff which is one of my biggest concerns when it comes to more open btb maps again this map does have more freedom of movement a little bit more restricted than say like blood gulch or something like that but i think containment would be really awesome plus it could finally give us a snow map which is an environment we do not have right now for different types of maps in halo infinite at the moment so i think containment would actually be pretty sick. Plus like seeing all these really awesome Halo 2 maps remade and now modern graphics would be really awesome. Again, like I said, this most likely will be done through Forge and this map isn't really that complicated. So it's very forgeable in my opinion. Uh, it matters if you can actually fix up the terrain in a way to make it play like the map. But again, I think containment would be an amazing map to come into Halo Infinite. Now, I didn't want to do just all the classic Halo Bungie maps and stuff like that, bring them into the game because 343 has done some good stuff as well. I think one of the maps that's done very well is is, well, right here, a fan favorite, Haven. Uh, I think this map would look absolutely awesome, kind of remade in the modern, if you want to call it that, uh, art style that we have now for the Forerunners architecture. I think this map would look absolutely amazing. Obviously, maybe make it a little dirtier rather than have it so clean like we have in Halo 4, uh, but people love this map. It's simple, straightforward, and it's very easy to understand. The, the readability is very easy as well. And also it's just high action. You, you're always getting into yourself into gunfights and stuff like that. So I think a map like Haven will work out super well. Plus with the extra freedom of movement, like we mentioned earlier with the grapple shot and the repulsor, you can put together some really cool stuff, especially with the repulsor, get the like, you know, throw some players off the map. I mean, that never gets old in Halo Infinite. So I think this map right here, Haven, would be a great addition when it comes to some of the forged maps that you can do in the game, which I think you could definitely pull this map off very easily in Forge. Now, I did hit up my community page here, guys. If you want to catch a community post when it does go live, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I asked you guys, what maps would you like to see return in here? And, uh, well, you had some interesting choices. A very popular one I saw was Sand Trap being mentioned quite often. And Sand Trap would be pretty awesome to have back in this game. Now, I would agree that Sand Trap is an amazing map. Now, I definitely relies on projectile precision weapons like the battle rifle in halo 3 uh, again we're, like i said we're starting out with the sidekick assault rifle so i think that would work out fine but you absolutely would need the elephant for this map to work out as you would like it to when it comes to playing a remastered version of this map because these vehicles were just so iconic and so tied to the gameplay of sand trap that you absolutely need to bring these elephants and i don't know if three for three can really just do that or forge can just do that on the fly unless it's already in the sandbox and possibly that could actually happen 
Uh, but I don't know if we can actually really see Sand Trap happening anytime soon. Now, reading through the comments, there was one map I saw mentioned multiple times that really had me concerned about your guys' taste in maps. And that map is Sword Base. It was mentioned multiple times in this thread, guys. Like, I don't know where you guys have come up with the idea that Sword Base would be a fun addition to play in. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Sword Base at all, because Sword Base to me is like the worst map ever in Halo because of the way the gameplay works out, where the middle floor and the bottom floor are just rarely ever used, and it's all about controlling the top floor, and you have like these hallways that will just like the very narrow, identical locations of forcing people down certain types of traversals, which is super easy to predict, very hard to break up the setups and stuff like that, that I don't think that sword base would be a good fit for this game at all. I know a lot of people were like, well, you have the grapple shot, you have repulsor, it helps out with your mobility. Yeah, but I think the elevation that you have on here, that the grapple shot wouldn't really be able to be that much of a factor to help break setups. Like, like you see right here in this gameplay, like, person just kind of hiding up in the top mid because like well that's where you need to be and you always need the high ground i just felt like it was very narrow down these hallways that catch grenades uh traversing to each side you had like these narrow hallways you had to connect to as well uh and it's like everyone just kind of stayed top mid especially oh my god the armor locking nerds with shotguns up in the lift room dude come on like that was annoying as hell i just don't like the flow on this map i don't like the traversal of it uh, I don't even like the visuals of it. Like, I think literally about everything about Sword Base is not a good map, in my opinion. But if you love Sword Base, let me know in the comments section down below. Jacob Wilcox says that Hang 'em High would be an interesting mix with the sandbox, and I would totally agree with that as well, as Hang 'em High is actually one of my all-time favorite maps as well. So if we're gonna do a Hang 'em High remake, I definitely would like to see the Reach version that we had with a little bit of extra traversal that they added into the map, so it wasn't so just like everyone out in the middle getting shot across the map kind of stuff, because playing this map in particular on Reach with like the hit scan DMR was pretty awful, honestly. And so it does rely on a lot of hit scan and less precision over distance when it comes to like the pistol stole and stuff like that so it depends on how the sandbox really plays out with this map but i do really like hang em high a lot again the grapple shot and repulsor would play out very well on this map and also having the threat sensor i think would be great too you can throw a threat sensor like right in these pillars right here to kind of reveal players locations i think would be very useful so uh, i think this would be actually a really good choice to see come back and plus definitely very forgeable as it's a forerunner based architecture it's much more geometric rather than having such natural shapes which are really difficult to pull off in Forge, but once we see Forge actually happen in Halo Infinite, I think uh, we might be very surprised. Now, if I pronounce this last name correctly, Brayden Odewalt, if I pronounce that correctly, it says, all I gotta say is I really miss games on the Spire, which is definitely a very interesting map. The Spire was very interesting because of how unique the layout is. Now, I don't know if this actually played out super well in BTB. I do like this map a lot for invasion. So maybe if you had like some kind of like attack defense mode that would come in ways like, well, invasion, I think it would play out very well. Also on this map, we had the Falcon, which is absolutely a most awesome map vehicle to play around with in this game. It's the most anticipated vehicle I had for Halo Infinite that I wanted to see come back. Sadly, we don't have it. Uh, though, I think that uh, for BTB, the Spire, like it just felt like there was a bunch of people on the top, really high up, not really involved with the gameplay a whole lot. Then you had some people down below basically fighting for the sniper rifle the whole time. So in BTB, I didn't really like it a whole lot, but it's very unique to say the least when it comes to the gameplay. So maybe if Halo Infinite could find some way to kind of make it work a little differently, that'd be really cool. But like I've never seen a Halo map, or really any kind of multiplayer map with that much of an elevation difference on the map like we have with Spire and Halo Reach. If you're new to the channel, miss any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm gonna link to all my Halo and gaming news informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.